Hello, beautiful Blender users and the other motherfuckers. I'm gonna show you how I make blood and flesh in Blender and Substance Painter. So let's get started. Oh, here's my hyper image. I use the. Um, I buy this model, by the way, and uh, some vegan brushes. So I think I buy it on ArtStation. I'll add the link in the description. So here's my low poly model. It's not that low poly, it's like a mid poly mesh. So I use quadro machine for the topology. So there is no, not literal topology, but it does the work. So it's, I make the UVs so basic. You can see when I'm using UVs for different parts. You can see. So let's go to the sub painter. Is my setup. It's pretty basic, but does the work. So I'm usually working on base color mode and uh, working one by one. That's usually using material mode. So keep that in mind. Here's my base color. That's close to the and that one. My base color for skin, yeah, just for the skate. And it's only so like moldy, ugly, flesh color. I don't know. I'm using mouse, by the way. I don't have a tablet, so I'm usually not using painting mode and using smart masks and other stuff because um, I'm a lazy bastard. What can I do? Let's keep going. I'm using bait light for like creases and stuff. And you can see it pops off the detail. You can use curvature mask for this, but it easily stay. So that go my setting. I'm not using sun or anything. Also, I have a sky but it white color so I'm just using for the details. That's great. I have other colors for like um moldy stuff. Like I say give different uh ugly color and some generators like dirt like dirt and some French masks. The good thing is working with uh masks and uh like generators and uh procedural stuff. It's, you can change it easily and doesn't interrupt anything. So I'm using that as it's lazy and I like it. Some more blood stuff, like you, that's not my main blood things, but adds a detail. So if I'm right. Here's my flesh on top of everything. Like, not everything that I get. That we what I did in the mess, uh, mess dirt and dirt again. Yeah. Just use the mask. What's the reside on even now? It's for the metal part and my favorite part. Well, I do a very basic blood set project. It's really, really basic. Let me cause all that. Here's my base color for blood and here's my settings. It's very basic. So fucking basic. And here's the blood again, but it's dark, more rough, and I'm masking with dirt again. So you can call all the black stuff or the creases again. Uh, more shiny and I used metal wear mask so you can control and yeah. you can use dirt and invert this and make anything with dirt so use dirt uh, let's keep going and make them group so we can mask it yeah group so I'm using dirt again for the general mask so let's open the other ones again it messing with the dirt settings yeah so here's a without blood here's a first layer of blood so i separate the tentacles for more control and here's the setup again i'm using dirt and setup is the same, maybe I change few parameters, but you the same. So here's my, the only paint layer. And not even paint, I'm just using for highlighting parts. Brush, I am usually use dart one for painting this kind of stuff like this. I'm moved by, by curvature mask. And but by by some branch, I don't know this one. Yeah, let's move by by that, so you can get easy details by painting. 
them show you. If I paint this and close this, it's so ugly and I don't know, yeah. Let's open that and here's your basic stuff for mouse painting. That's on par. What can you do? You gotta improve, improve. So that's it. And I'm just exporting for Blender. That's my textures. Here's my setup. I'm not using emission alpha displacement for this one. And the ones I'm using 4K because I have like three units. But yeah, it's 4K off for me now. And in Blender, just import them by Ctrl Shift T and select your stuff. And yeah, it's done. I'm using a Lansing camera. It's a add on by, I think, Lev Alexander. It's pretty good. I'm using on every project right now. It's like game changer. So if you have money, that's why it. it's pretty cool. But it's replicating a real camera lens look. I guess it's not even replicating, it's rebuilding in Blender. It's pretty cool add on. Just check it out. So here's my setup for blood and flesh. It's pretty basic. I like basic stuff. I'm a basic man. I'm a lazy man. So I'm just using this setup and much everything. I I'm used six or seven projects for my uh less of madness projects for the setup. It's all the same, just I'm changing a few parameters. So yeah. And uh, maybe I'll show how I make this models, like not this one because I didn't make this one, but I can show how I did this one. So that's so it's pretty cool, I guess. And also for the next video I will show how I using fusion for compositing because there is uh, no CG compositing video on YouTube. Like there is there is a few but that's that they are too complicated for no reason. And like I said, I'm a lazy bastard and I don't like complicated stuff. Maybe I'll show you on the next video.